Arrival, the Anglo-American startup looking to build electric buses and delivery vans, is now ready to show off its first electric car. Designed in partnership with Uber, it's not a car for you and me, but a 21st century taxi designed specifically for rideshare drivers. The company is setting an ambitious timetable to get this product from the early alpha prototype, which is what I saw when I visited the company's Oxfordshire HQ, to the finished model. Now, these first finished models are expected to roll off the production line at some point in Q3 2023, which in car development terms is absolutely nothing. Now, the car has a similar footprint to a VW Golf or Honda Civic, but is dramatically taller, making it easy to get in and out of. Now, since all of the propulsion is based on an EV skate under the floor, there's no need for a lengthy bonnet or trunk, but that doesn't seem to compromise the room inside the cabin. In fact, I've seen museum visitor centers that are smaller than the inside of the arrival car's cockpit. The front passenger seat can also be folded down and pushed slightly forward, should you need that little bit of extra room, and in the prototype at least, there are brightly coloured woven fabrics for seat covers and a spill-resistant floor. Now, despite the utilitarian styling, the seats are comfortable enough that your backside won't get numb in a 20-minute trip around a city centre. And it's just a little bit sci-fi, enough that it does feel like a car from the near future, at least compared to a lot of the modern car designs you see today. Much like Tesla's Model 3, all of the controls are held in a 13-inch touchscreen in the centre console to make it easier for both drivers to use and for the company to produce left and right-hand drive versions of the same car. Now, it's hoped that this single screen will help do away with so much of the clutter that most rideshare drivers currently need to lean on. I will admit, I didn't get to drive the prototype, but I did drive a rival's beefy UPS van around its test track which is actually just the company's staff car park. But despite the truck's massive size, it's actually pretty fun to drive. I mean, it moves like a go-kart and it's so easy to get in and start piloting. I was quite intimidated and I thought I was gonna make an absolute hash of it, but the ease of driving makes me feel like a lot of rideshare drivers are gonna love that, that direct connection to the road. Now, of course, there are lots of things that we just don't know about this car, including the battery capacity, the range, the price, or what it'll actually look like when it's finally finished. But if a rival can ensure that it'll run for a whole day on a single charge and won't cost as much as the equivalent Prius, for instance, it's likely that Uber and its ride-sharing ilk can use this car as the main weapon in their plans to get zero tailpipe emissions from their fleets. Now, hopefully, we won't need to wait until 2023 to actually drive one of these things ourselves. But in the meantime, and while you wait, you can read loads more about this car in our full story on Engadget.com.